Hey everybody, Brandon here and I'm back with another action figure review from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. With some pretty cool variant figures in front of us, we're looking at Grapnel Blast Batman in his classic colors and Aquaman in his total justice colors. Uh, pretty exciting stuff that we get a little homage and tribute to the original comic books, so that'll be interesting. Uh, keeping in mind these are the same figures from the kids line as before. Um, so, not really expecting a whole lot of new stuff here, just, um, some new colors, I guess. So, we'll dive into these figures and take a closer look. First, looking at the box art, uh, we've got some cool artwork of Henry Cavill as Superman and Ben Affleck as Batman. We have our standard Dawn of Justice logo, and we've got a pretty cool looking Batman figure. Uh, sporting his classic blue and gray costume, uh, and he's even pre New 52 with blue tights. Um, kind of reminds me of the Frank Miller Batman a little bit with the blue costume, only uh, that bat emblem was the circle yellow bat. Uh, we do have a grapnel here. Um, it's painted a little bit differently, but I'll get into that later. Um, pretty cool figure. Nice, nice blue color. On the back, it says, includes grapnel. And we get a picture of our Batman, who looks a lot better as a prototype. Uh, and off to the side, we get Shield Clash Superman, only it's the brighter colored figure. We get a new variant of Wonder Woman, which I'm still out on the look for. Um, this Wonder Woman figure is silver and blue and red, so kind of looks like the new 52 Wonder Woman. And uh, we've got a kryptonite armored Batman. Okay. And now if we take a look at Aquaman. Same artwork at the top. And if we take a look at the figure, he looks pretty awesome. Uh, I really dig the green on the side of the legs. So that's definitely cool. Um, and it looks like the trident is a bright yellow color instead of the gold that we got on the previous Aquaman. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, looks like they really tried to pay homage to the 1990s Aquaman uh, without the hook hand. Um, I kind of wonder why they didn't go with blonde hair for this figure though. Um, they kept the face kind of exactly the same. But it's a pretty cool figure. If we take a look at the back of the packaging, it says includes trident. And... We get a shiny, nice looking Aquaman figure. And off to the side we get a few other figures. We get our armored Superman. Uh, the Batman figure that I've already got right here with us. And the Kryptonite armored Batman. Alright, so now that we've seen what these figures look like, let's check them out outside of the box. So I saw, I think some of you had commented asking how I opened the boxes to my figures or how I do that so easily. Uh, really quick, just to show you, I uh, take a knife and I slit a little opening down here so it opens up like a flap. Uh, real quick, I can show you. Just cut our opening, cut it down the side, and we cut another opening here. cut down. So what you want to have is a cut here, a cut here, and a cut here. And then you open this up like a flap, and your figure pulls right out. And we've still got our card intact. Um, so that's my little trick. Alright, stay tuned. All right, so now that we've got our figures out of the box, let's take a closer look. First at Grapple Blast Batman. Looks like a pretty cool figure. Um, I really do dig the blue. Um, I like the original costume for Batman. So I, uh, I'm definitely a fan of this variant. Um, standard, standard basic figure, just like before. Um, these are uh, rubbery capes for those of you who don't know 
so you will get indents and creases from the box. Uh, why they chose those, I have no idea. Why they chose those capes is beyond me. Um, but overall, uh, he's a pretty cool looking figure. I, I really do like the head sculpt on this figure. Um, there's uh, no run underneath the cowl. I don't know if my camera will pick that up. It makes his face all white. But there's absolutely no uh, no run under the cowl, which is perfect. Some of the earlier figures from this line, um, they uh, they all had that problem, and there was too much run under the cowl. But this is definitely a much nicer figure. Um, also, to the gray, I noticed is a little darker than the original figure. Um, I'll compare them in just a second. If uh, we take a quick look at articulation, we've got a movement at the neck, side to side, and a little bit up and down. Movement at the shoulder, movement at the elbow, up and down, and side to side. We have no waist articulation, none of these figures do. We have movement at the hip and at the knee. Okay, so now, if... Uh, grab the original Batman he's right here uh, you can clearly see what I'm talking about the gray on this figure is a lot darker than this one it looks kinda more almost white here um, but they are the same figure everything about them is the same it's just the color scheme that's really all it is um, but definitely uh, a cool Batman figure to have if you're a Batman collector or if you just want the new movie figures or anything Frank Miller related um, this is definitely a great Batman to pick up if we take a look at the accessory that he comes with real quick it's this grapple um, this grapple is all black there's uh, no paint difference or anything but if we take a look at the original grapnel that comes with the first Batman figure released, um, it's gray and black. So you see the variation. This is the one that we have here with the blue cowl. And this is the original Batman right here with the silver. Um, I, I personally think that the one that comes with the original Batman is a lot cooler. Um, but that's just my own preference. It's great that we have more grapnels. Um, we get a nice little array of bat gadgets going when you collect these figures, so that's pretty cool. But this is the grapple that he comes with. Um, it's only got two hooks. It doesn't spring out or anything. Um, and it does fit in his hand. It's Sometimes it's a little forceful, but, uh, but it works. I personally think that this grapple is just a little too big for the Batman figure. Maybe his grapple gun should be a little smaller, but that's just me. But it does fit, it does work. All right, so now if we take a quick look at Aquaman, uh, definitely the same figure as before. Uh, I, I really do like that they tried to give him a classic look, though. It's uh, definitely appreciated. This Aquaman also has no tattoos. If you haven't already noticed. Um, but overall, just a very, very nice painted figure. Um, they, they really tried to do the silver right. Uh, and the green on the legs. If you don't know what Total Justice is, uh, it was Aquaman's look in the 90s in the comic books and in the toy lines. Uh, so that's where this... Uh, actually comes from um, if we I've actually got the total justice Aquaman right here this is what uh, he's based off of so that's uh, that kind of gives you an idea of where this color combination for Aquaman comes from um, same thing for Batman too I've got the total justice Batman uh, so it's a nice little shout out to the 90s. 
Um, but definitely I see more resemblance with Aquaman than I do Batman. Just no hook hand, which makes me wonder if we're going to get that in the film. Okay, if we take a look at articulation real quick. We've got movement at the neck. Uh, it's a little better this time than before. We've got up and down and side to side uh, on a ball joint. We've got movement at the shoulder. It's hindered a little bit because of this shoulder pad, but there is movement. We've got movement at the elbow, up and down and side to side. We have no waist articulation, movement at the hip and at the knee. If we take a look at the trident that he comes with, uh, standard trident, same one as before with the original Aquaman figure. This one is just a brighter color. It's gold instead of, or it's yellow, I'm sorry, instead of the metallic gold that we got previously. Uh, quick comparison with the original Aquaman right here. And you can clearly see uh, the difference. He's got a lot more metallic paint than he does. Um, and if we look at their tridents, um, you can see the difference between the yellow and the gold. And no tattoos. But they are uh, some pretty decent figures. The head sculpt is exactly the same. The paint on the hair is exactly the same. I honestly thought that this should be yellow. His hair should be yellow or blonde. Um, but that's just my own preference. If they were going for the 90s, I think you know they should have done it. But um, overall, I, uh, I do like that we get variant figures. Um, I... I kind of like the original Aquaman better just because of the metallic paint, but if I were to gather all my uh, 90s figures or 90s paint variants, um, it's definitely cool that we get an Aquaman like this. Um, for a quick comparison, first with each other and a few other figures from this toy line, I've got Shield Clash Superman. Uh, the bright figured variant. Um, so they all look pretty good together. Uh, pretty bright colored. I've also got the bright variant uh, Batman figure that has the battle armor. Um, so that gives you an idea too. Uh, these figures are marked at about six inches. Uh, the battle armor Batman does stand a little bit taller. And uh, previously, I was looking at his cape. Uh, his cape is a really, really bright blue. Compared to the current Batman figure that I'm reviewing, um, you can see that this cape is a little bit darker uh, than this one. Just a little bit darker. Why we get so many different colored capes, I have no idea. But uh, I guess that's just the way it goes. So now if we take a look with a few Movie Masters figures, just to give you a nice size comparison. Um, the Movie Masters figures I've always thought work really well with the kids line figures. Um, Superman's a little taller. Batman works a little better. But uh, I definitely can't complain. Uh, my Movie Master Superman, I think, works really well with uh, the kids' line figures. I can't say the same for the Movie Master's Batman. From what I've seen, that figure stands a lot taller. Uh, but overall, I, I think it looks pretty good. I think these figures work well with uh, most of the figures that I have. If we take a look now with a Marvel Legends Wolverine and a DC Universe Classics Captain Marvel... Uh, you can see that Wolverine and Captain Marvel are a little more true to scale. Uh, they really are legitimate 6 inch figures. The movie figures, I don't know why, are a little bit shorter. Um, but it looks pretty good. Um, it's not, you know, that big of a difference in the size comparison, but uh, it, it works. You can make it work. Um, they 
you just it's just notable that they are a little bit shorter um, than the real symphony scale that we should be having. Um, but overall, pretty good. I am excited for whatever figures we're going to get out of this. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I'm really rooting for a Flash, uh, maybe a Cyborg. Uh, but I'm excited for whatever variants we get, whether what other figures we're going to get. Um, and I'm just along for the ride. Uh, with all of you guys, I'm happy to bring these videos to you. Um, I know there are many other people out there reviewing all the different variants. So I'm happy that I'm at least doing this. That way everybody has a sense of what else is out there and what else to expect. So I really do appreciate all the feedback, all the support. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe.